What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm D-Rod and today we have another cool DC Multiverse action figure. So this time we have Superman Unchained. And before we get started on this video, please give this video a big thumbs up, hit the little bell and subscribe. You guys support me by subscribing. So come on, let's keep those subscribers keep going up. I wanna keep doing giveaways. So let's go ahead and get started with this cool action figure we have going on and let me just say again so check it out the blue and the red already superman colors pretty dope now uh, i haven't read this comic so i do not know what's going on but we have a little data file in the back of this uh action figure so it's gonna tell us a little bit of what's going on so as you can see in the back we have the cover of superman unchained number seven and that's the trading card we're getting on this figure that comes with it and the back we're gonna have the data file and as we see in the back it says collect them all we have the regular superman the animated series batman we have the green lantern harley quinn from suicide squad and the comic harley quinn there's a lot of action figures to collect and again if you guys want to follow mcfarland toys on facebook twitter and instagram go ahead and follow mcfarland toys and follow todd mcfarland because he gives updates of what's coming up next and that's pretty badass you know we don't have to wait to release date so again this has 22 points of articulation check out the blue and the red already pretty badass the black that comes under his armor is pretty dope and his helmet i don't know what the fuck's going on there but it's badass so i'm gonna get him open it i can see already in the back he has his uh wings whatnot just like the hellbat suit so i can't wait to open it i haven't seen this so let's go ahead and open it check it out so we have the unchained superman figure his wings his trading card and his dc stand so let's check out this trading card first check it out that's the same one as the cover from the comic superman unchained number seven so here in the data file tells you what happens in this series and we have him holding a shield and a battle axe which it would have been dope to have him i would have paid an extra 10 bucks you know pay 30 bucks for for him to have the shield and the the battle axe but he doesn't so here we go we have the again the damn stand so i don't like these stands for these figures even for the joker uh figure i didn't like it because you have to Nobody wants to pose them like this. People want to pose these guys pretty good. And I'm pretty sure it would have been better to have a figure like this. I mean, a uh, stand like this. So check it out. So this is the helmet that Superman has uh, in order to fight this guy that comes to Earth, which Batman and Wonder Woman can't stop. You can turn him all the way around. And he does have to look down. He's a god, so he looks down on you. To look up, it's up to there. That's as much as it will go up. From there to there so not a lot pretty badass detailed in there and then he had here in his shoulder pads well they're not his shoulder pads but this is basically where the cape will come out from the original superman the s pretty badass i like it then you have uh his shoulder movement which will go up to there because of this gets on the way and then exactly when you go back but he does have the full motion if you move it around and again he has an extra uh, movement right here so you can move it inside and outwards and then you have the elbow joint not double move not double jointed just one uh, same thing because of his bicep and because of this thing he has here uh, he has uh, his wrist movement he has his gripping hand to hold something but there's nothing to hold same thing for this one another gripping hand but nothing to hold so then you have the whole movement boom same thing here i like this part the black it looks like it was a what is it called kevlar not caviar <laughs> kevlar or whatever that armor material is so it's pretty badass and then his whole uh the the blue that comes down here is pretty badass it has little kind of little spikes in there so it's torso you can move it up to there up to the back up there his whole torso could go up and down, uh, all the way. His um, waist cannot go all the way. Oh yeah, it can. His waist can go all the way. And you have his Superman belt here. See? 
and you got that Superman butt, kind of a little bigger butt than the Hellbat suit. You have the belt that comes here in the back, pretty badass. And I think my figure has a little red scrub right here on his butt. There. Check it out. You see his you see his spine going here in the back. Look at that armor. Then you have again the the movement. Oh, this one has more flexibility with ease. See, I didn't even have to do it a lot. So boom. Nah. Okay, didn't want to go now. Why? I guess I was getting stuck in here. There you go. Now with ease, you get to have Batman do a split. Not bad. Better than the Hellbat suit. See, so you could move his whole joint, his whole thigh around like this. With ease. Not bad. And then he does have double joint. No. Oh yeah, they are double jointed knees. But because of his, uh, I guess, bootstrap. Uh, it goes up to there. That's that's as much as gonna move up to there, no more. So I guess it, it has its good and bad from the uh, Hellbat suit. So this one he could easily be flexible like this. The Hell suit bat can, but the Hellbat suit can have double jointed knees all the way up, and this one can't up to there because of his uh, bootstrap armor, and he also has uh, his knee pads. This ones are red. He does have toe movements right there. And then his ankle, he does, but up to there. Because again, his bootstraps on the way. So you could go up to there and then back down there. That's it. So this Superman has a little bit of limited movements because of its suit. It's not bad, uh, but it, it, it makes sense. He has a big ass armor suit. And so does Batman, but he has more flexibility, except for the split. I like when figures can split like this. That means they have more posable options. So, check out that detail. So the whole red matches, you know, there's no mismatch in red. And then the black here, pretty badass. And black back here again, switches to some of the blue armor. Uh, pretty badass. Uh, I like how the, the colors, not fade, but... How they transition from one point to another from like the red because the suit is blue and then his armor parts are red and it's badass because you don't you don't see like like a lot of paint uh, missing or going through the blue besides this butt one check it out see like right here a little bit yeah. oh yeah there's a little bit on here on this side for me it's minor i mean i don't mind it let's see like the blue right here it goes it goes a little bit into the black um, some people would get bugged by that not me I mean I'll point it out but it won't be like oh I'm not gonna buy another figure from them the helmet is badass so see like the whole transition of colors beautiful they don't they don't have different like shades of red different shades of blue it's just same color everywhere well except this this blue it is a little bit lighter than this blue oh same thing for this this well the S has to stand out so it's a little bit brighter these, I don't know if the shoulder pads things, I don't know. But these are a little bit different red shade than the shoes. Now that, that's that's like about it. It's not a lot of difference. It's just a little bit of difference if you really look into those details of, oh, it's, I don't know, fucking different kinds of reds there are. You'll be like, oh, it's a higher red and whatever. So let me put the wings. Cool thing about the wings. If you don't know which side they go to, it's okay. You could put them like this or you could put them like this. And it'll still be the same thing. But if you put them like this, so it's this way. With the pointy things going towards in, uh, towards inside. And this little uh, ball points, you're able to move them around. You can pose the wings differently, so pretty cool. Check it out. So they're going to go back here. The, these little holes in the back, that's where these things are going to go. You could have them like this. You can have them expand its wings like this. You can have them close. You can have them this way. It just depends how you want to post them, you know? So, pretty badass. So, there you have uh, Batman and Superman side by side. Batman always out fucking trying to do Superman. I mean, in the best way possible. I actually like this one more than I like this one. I still like both figures. But if I were to choose... 
Batman would be the winner for me. He has his badass wings, his fucking red and black, fucking beautiful, his own armor, pretty tight. So they're around the same size, see? Check it out, about eight inches, but Superman with his wings could come up to nine, which this one, last time we said, well, almost 14. Tell me what you guys think of the Superman figure. You guys like it, you guys not. See, so he has both of his grip hands here. Uh, there's no shield, there's no uh, battle axe. I mean, I could play with some accessories from different figures or this other Superman or something and put it. So tell me what you guys think of this action figure, this Batman, the whole red and blue, pretty badass. Having both of them together next, uh, side by side, dope. I hate the damn stands for these guys. These guys are too big for that little thing. So we need bigger stands. If you're in a package to stand, if not, then we'll get our own. I mean, I don't mind getting my own stands, but I like having these guys like this freely standing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!